Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is going to be the TA and Chart Analysis for January 22nd. But there's not much new on the TA and Chart Analysis from yesterday. So we're going to concentrate a little bit today on the price of actually mining in Bitcoin because maybe we can kind of find a bottom there. Um, and the price of mining in Bitcoin is heavily dependent on energy, which has actually gone up recently. So let's actually go with um, looking at the chart right now. Now, Right now, obviously, Bitcoin's kind of hit uh, um, a low, basically, essentially, almost like 12 hours ago, essentially. So right now, it's definitely not looking good right now. I mean, we've hit kind of a bottom here at like uh, 35,000, and it's lasted for a little while. Um, hopefully, this holds, but I don't really know how the situation with Russia and Ukraine is actually playing out, and I'm not really sure how the situation... Um, with the earnings reports next week or the Fed meetings coming out. If the Fed says they're going to delay raising interest rates for X amount of time, maybe we'll actually have a bit of a bounce. If Microsoft, Tesla, and Apple's earnings re reports are good tomorrow, we might, I'm not tomorrow, I mean next week, uh, we might have a bit of a bounce as well. But those are kind of like our hopes. The TA indicators are pretty much all down. Uh, obviously, like we didn't like form the golden cross. We were pretty close to forming the golden cross up and pop up, up until about like, you know, a couple of days ago, but then like those hopes got completely dashed. Um, I do think like the geopolitical factor is coming into play. I've heard that the situation in Ukraine is getting more tense and maybe a conflict is more likely. And that would definitely tank the markets to way below where they actually are now. And I think the technical indicators are saying so. Like, if you look on the daily technical indicator, the commodity channel index is negative, which is, is oversold. The stochastic is oversold. The relatively strength index is oversold. But the average directional index is getting much, much stronger right now on the daily. And the momentum is very, very negative. So it's forming a negative trend. This is not a time you really want to buy right now. Obviously, all the moving averages are strongly negative all the way to the 200, and the 50 is definitely below the 200, so it is very, very bearish right now. Definitely, I would not buy, unless you are absolutely sure that the earnings reports are going to be good tomorrow and that Russia will not invade Ukraine. If you have... If you have a time machine and you know that's true, then maybe you should buy, but I am not buying because I do not have a time machine and I cannot guarantee that. Even on the weekly, everything's basically sell up to the 100 and that's like two years and counting. Um, the commodity channel index is actually oversold and so is the stochastic, but the momentum is so, so negative right now and the MACD level as well. That is just not a good time to buy. You could say like, well, I want to short it, but if you short it with leverage and there's a relief rally, you can get screwed as well. So I would just like either just yield farm or have money on the side in USDC. Uh, pretty much same thing for, for the monthly. Now like it's basically uh, negative all the way to the 20 moving average. And that's two years going back. And um, the, the oscillators are pretty much neutral, except for the momentum in the MACD, and those are heavily sell. So even on the monthly right now, I would not say it's a buy. It might take us more than one or two months to really bounce back. Um, and obviously, that does depend on our geopolitical situation. And also, more than our geopolitical situation, it does actually depend on just as much the earnings reports from next week and the Fed meeting next week. We don't have a time machine to see in the future. We don't really know what they're going to say. So it's better just to keep your money out on the sidelines and either sell out or yield farm right now. I would actually yield farm right now. Would not sell out, but I would actually yield farm right now, which is what I'm doing. Now let's actually look at the mining costs of... Um, Bitcoin. So this was actually made, this article was actually in May 4th, 2021. And Bitcoin mining costs have risen substantially. Um, have actually ridden, uh, risen substantially since that, uh, since that time. Because the hash rate is actually higher than it was in May, surprisingly enough. So like if you look at May 4th, um, May 4th, it was actually uh, 170, 170 million, and now it's like around 197. So the hash rate has gone up roughly a little more than 10%, uh, almost 15%, which is a pretty big bump. So that would actually increase the mining cost by 15%. Plus energy has gotten a much more expensive um, 
than it was back in May. So back in May, I think the ant miners cost about the same. So they actually break it down into like the actual lifetime cost of uh, the miner and the base electricity cost. Now they base base it on 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour and 3.5 cents per kilowatt hour. I think Crypto R Us on his channel actually did say, he talked to one of his friends, and the average cost of mining Bitcoin was around 21,000 or something. But because of the increased energy costs, I think it is actually quite a bit higher than that right now. Obviously it depends on which kind of miner you have. Uh, just the electricity cost, base 24 hour cost at 5.5 kilowatt hours, it would cost 11,459. Now that's just the base cost uh, of electricity. It's not counting your ASIC. ASICs obviously have a um, uh, basically a lifespan, and they will wear they will uh, they will actually wear out after a while. So if you include the cost of the ASIC over the life of the machine, the average cost um, at 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour to mine a Bitcoin is 19,404. Now that's still very, very cheap right now. But remember, this is at 5.5 cents per kilowatt hour. What is like, remember the United States is the biggest Bitcoin uh, miner now since China has banned Bitcoin mining. And the average cost of electricity in Texas, but so what is, what is the average cost of electricity in the, Uni in the United States? Now, I've actually checked this earlier. So um, the average electricity rate is actually um, 10.42 cents per kilowatt hour. It's actually about two right now. I think that's, uh, I think that's actually outdated. Like that's actually a little bit outdated. Um, right now it's actually at twelve point five two cents. Winter is usually a little bit uh, more expensive for electricity. Winter is definitely a little bit more expensive for you elect uh, electricity. And essentially, um, if you look at, they actually go by December twenty twenty one, and it's going to be December different from December twenty twenty. So if you actually look at um, this, it's actually twelve point five two cents per hour. And that actually raises the cost up substantially because this column uh, is going to be more than double this. So I've actually calculated it out at 12.5 cents per hour. This would actually go up to more than double. And this would actually go up to like $26,000 per Bitcoin. And um, that's basically $15,000, $14,000, dollars over this. You add $14,000 to this and it'd be $33,000 across average across the United States. Now, 12 cents is actually what it, what the electricity cost is. The residential uh, customer actually pays about 13.31 cents, so a little bit more. But I'm guessing a lot of these places are actually more industrial places as well. So they're probably paying a discounted rate. So, and we know that most of, a lot of electricity, a lot of the Bitcoin mining is happening in either Texas or Wyoming. So we actually have to look at Texas and Wyoming. Uh, Texas essentially is, um, Texas basically on average is getting about 11.36 cents per kilowatt hour on December uh, 2021. Wyoming is 12.3 cents per kilowatt hour. So Wyoming would actually be about $34,000 right now. Obviously different parts of the state are different. Um, Texas is a little bit lower than the average, but it still costs about $30,000 to actually mine a Bitcoin. So we're getting pretty close to that point. And um, like I said, like electricity was actually a lot cheaper a year or two ago. So the mining cost has definitely gone up just based on electricity. Now, if you have industrial rates and if you're getting like around eight cents per kilowatt hour on industrial rates, that probably cuts your mining cost to about 25,000. So that's, that gives you an idea of how much it costs to mine Bitcoin in the United States at these electricity prices that we're seeing now. And of course, it includes the price of the ant miner as well. And I don't think Bitcoin price can really fall below the minimum price uh, for that. Because if Bitcoin price fall, uh, falls below the minimum price for mining, then the, the industry is not really sustainable. And I don't think like uh, the miners and the big companies that have actually invested in Bitcoin will actually let that allow that to happen. So uh, essentially, like these uh, kilowatt hour numbers, they've increased greatly in December. They'll probably go back down. Um, once the warmer weather comes and people aren't using as much heating and electricity. But right now, it is costing quite an arm and a leg in the winter to, to 
um, mine Bitcoin. It's still slightly profitable right now, but if we keep dipping, it will actually become unprofitable. And then that time they will have to figure out a way to raise Bitcoin up. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.